Hi students, welcome to the new class. We are surrounded by shapes all around us. In this chapter, we are going to study about some of these shapes and their geometries. Many of these shapes you are already familiar with. We have quadrilateral, rectangle, square, parallelogram, rhombus and trapezium. We are going to study about two basic properties of these shapes. That is area and perimeter. So what is perimeter? Imagine you are going to walk around a triangular plot. The total distance you covered is the perimeter of that park. So perimeter of a plane figure is the length of its boundary of each side. If the side is A, B and C, the perimeter is A plus B plus C. Unit of perimeter is the same as the unit of length that is in centimeter, meter or in kilometer. Next is area. Area of a plane figure is a measure of the surface enclosed by its boundary. Now let us do a quick recap of some of these shapes which you have learned already. The first one is quadrilateral. This quadrilateral is half into one diagonal into sum of these two perpendicular drawn from the remaining two vertices. When two diagonals of a quadrilateral is given, the area is half into product of the diagonal. Next is rectangle. Area is length into breadth. Perimeter is, you know, 2 into L plus B. And the diagonal is square root of L square plus B square. Next is square. Square, perimeter is 4 into a because A is a side and the area is side square and diagonal is A into root 2. The next one is parallelogram. Parallelogram area is base into height and the perimeter you know the length of its boundary. The next is rhombus. The rhombus all the sides are equal. Therefore, the perimeter is 4 into side and area is half into the product of the diagonals. And the next one is trapezium. The trapezium is sum of two parallel sides are given. Suppose A and B are the parallel side and H is the height. Therefore, area is half into to sum of parallel side into the height. That is half into A plus B into H. In this chapter, we are mainly focusing on the area and perimeter of triangle. If A, B, C are the sides of the triangle, then the perimeter is A plus B plus C. The area of the triangle is half into base into height. The height is also called as sometimes altitude. Now, Look at this figure. A, B, C are a is a triangle and here B is the base. If B is the base, the altitude is B, E. In triangle A, B, C, if A, B is the base, then the height is C, F. In triangle A, B, C, if B, C is the height, is the base, then A, D is the height. But there are other cases. Say you are buying a triangular plot. You need to find the perimeter and area of this plot. But here you cannot use the formula half bh because we know only the length of the plot and not the height. So how can we find it out? A Greek mathematician Heron came up with a solution to this problem. If 
A, B, C are the sides of a triangle, then its perimeter is A plus B plus C and he has taken that as 2S. Therefore, what is the half of the perimeter? A plus B plus C divided by 2. And he found the formula and he derived the formula. Therefore, area of a triangle is equal to square root of S into S minus A into S minus B into S minus C. Here S is the semi-perimeter that is half of the perimeter. A is the one side, B is the other side and C is the other side. So according to the side, you know there are three types of triangle. Each triangle has a different formula to find the area. Now the scale and triangle that is all the sides are different. Therefore, we can use the Heron's formula that is square root of S into S minus A into S minus B into S minus C. Next is equilateral triangle. Equilateral triangle all the sides are equal therefore A is same. We can use the formula root 3 by 4 into that side square. The next one is isosceles triangle. Isosceles triangle two sides are equal. So the same sides we will take it as A. The other side is B. Therefore the formula is 1 by 4 into B into square root of 4A square minus B square. In our next video, we will see how to solve question given in your textbook. Thank you. Now let's look at the important formula from this chapter.